Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. Each week we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are taking a look at a Disney Channel original movie as we take a look at Mr. Boogity. A, also stay tuned for our bonus story this week as we take a look at another early Disney Channel original show as we take a look at Welcome to Pooh Corner. And if you are enjoying these videos, please do hit that subscribe button. That way you will never miss each any of our videos. But for now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So like I said, we are covering the Disney Channel original movie, Mr. Boogity. Uh, this originally aired on April 20th, 1986, and it was directed by Oz Scott. Uh, the, it was written by Michael Janover, and the production company was Walt Disney Television, with with it being distributed by Disney ABC Domestic Television. But let's take a look at the development. So writer Michael Janover was approached by the comedy duo Cheech and Chong to write a horror parody of The Exorcist, of the Exorcist and Janover wrote the script, but the movie was put on, on the shelf for many years. Eventually, Diz executives at Disney were shown the script, and they liked the comedic tone. However, they wanted the script rewritten to cut out all of the adult humor and make it more family friendly. Director Oz Scott then became attached to the project because he liked how the comedy was more reality based as opposed to being off the wall comedy. Disney was hoping that this first movie would act as a television pilot that would help to sell a Mr. Boogity television series. Um, that obviously did not happen but Disney CEO at the time Michael Eisner did state that this film was one of his favorites of the of the original Disney Channel movies. And Disney would release a sequel to the movie called Bride of Boogity, uh, however, as a follow-up. So let's take a look at the cast. So we have Richard Mauser, who plays Carlton Davis, My Mimi Kennedy, who plays El Eloise Davis, Benjamin Gregory, who plays R.E. Davis, Christy Swanson, who plays Jennifer Davis, Howard Witt, who plays William Hanover, a.k.a. Mr. Boogity, John Aston, who plays Neil Weatherspoon, and Catherine Kelly Lang, who plays Widow Marion. So now that we know the players, let's take a look at the plot. Uh, so a novelty uh, gag salesman moves his family into a new house. Initially dismissing incidences as more of their father's practical jokes, the family soon learns that the house is haunted by people who lived in the house 300 years previously. So unfortunately, there's not a lot to this movie. It is only 45 minutes long. Um, so in terms of recommending this movie, I can see why it was um, deemed more of as a pilot than it is a movie. Um, and unfortunately, this does affect the story as it is quite rushed and the movie doesn't allow the audience to breathe in terms of connecting with the different characters as well as the different events of the movie. Um, it is worth watching for those who do remember it. It is like kind of a childhood staple of the 80s in terms of Disney Channel. Uh, but it, unless you have a nostalgic rec, um, memories of it, I would I would unfortunately just say skip it. Um, it's just not long enough to be really memorable. So let's move into our bonus story where we look at some of the original Disney Channel shows. Uh, so Welcome to Pooh Corner was a live action puppetry show that was one of the premier shows of the Disney Channel. It featured the characters from the Winnie the Pooh franchise in human size puppet suits with the exception of Rue who was in an actual pop who was an actual puppet. The show was released on April 18th, 1983 and it had original episodes until December of 1984, but it would continue to run in reruns until 1997. In terms of the show, a narrator would start the show welcoming viewers and talking an, about an event that happened in Pooh Corner. The show was filmed in front of a blue screen and it would and the, the Pooh characters would act out the tales as told by the narrator. The show had no commercial breaks because at the time, uh, Disney Channel was a premium channel, so they did not have to worry about commercial funding, and the show would last for a full 30 minutes. The main story uh, of the episode would last for about 20 minutes, and then a short music video featuring an original song would then play, and then finally, the last segment would be a... Uh, arts and crafts segment where one of the Winnie the Pooh characters would show a craft that the kids could do at home. 
In terms of the legacy, this show was very popular. Um, it had several holiday specials for Christmas, Halloween, and Valentine's Day, as well as the show would create educational specials for schools to use uh, that included uh, topics on how to deal with strangers, uh, school bus safety, and how to take responsibility for your actions. And these videos were filmed exclusively for school use. Um, unfortunately, this is one of the original Disney Channel shows that has not been added to Disney Plus as of yet. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe it's a rights issue with the music. I'm not sure. Um, because there was several, like every show had an original song in the show. Um, in terms of my memories, uh, I don't remember a lot of it because I was a little bit young for when this, uh, like, when this originally aired. I remember seeing an episode here and there on Disney Channel and I thought it was quite memorable. Um, in terms of the specials, I, I ended up watching one as research for the show, and it's quite clever using songs to kind of teach kids the message about school bus safety and how one should deal with strangers. So definitely, if you are interested, they are mostly available on YouTube, um, uh, as well as the, um, the specials, um, especially the one on uh, strangers is available in its entirety on YouTube. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us here on Disney Movie Investigation. Uh, please leave in the comments what you think of the movie Mr. Boogity, or if you have any memories of Welcome to Pooh Corner, I would love for you to share them down below in the comments. In terms of our next video, we are going to continue to look at the movies of Disney Star as we take a look at Anna and the King starring Jodie Foster. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.